I definitely was not expecting that at all. Never what I thought she had. <laughs> Sounds like a cattle ranch over here, don't it? Don't say it sounded like a farm. Sound like a farm. Peaches is up and at them this morning. Pee pee. You know what? Peaches. What? I probably better feed the goats before I offer her this. Yeah, you probably do. What's up, JJ? Oh, hey, Joe Jr. Baby. What's up, Joe Jr.? And the other ones were just out here playing. And wouldn't you know, as soon as we come up here, they're I swear gone. It goes, it yep. All right, girls. Girls and Chip. We got Peaches a special surprise. Peaches is gonna have some fruit for breakfast. An overripe cantaloupe. Overripe cantaloupe. And and Brooke, let me tell you. What? We'll never ever pick an unripe or overripe watermelon again because I saw all those. we have gotten so many messages and emails on how to do it. Hang on, let me. Oh, big caprice in the way here. On how to pick a perfect watermelon. But if we have to go through all those steps, it might take us a half a day to, to get well, a watermelon. Somebody sent an illustration and it, it made perfectly a good sense. Did it? Yeah. Come here, big girl. Look at here. Look at here. It's a special breakfast. Look at there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is good stuff. I was wondering if I was going to need to cut it. And, and I told you I think she can get into it. You did, yeah. and I think you were right. It yeah. smells wonderful, it Peaches. It does smell good, Peaches. She says she's going to have this done in a minute. Yeah, this isn't going to last long. You know, I hated to get it out because it's their house. I know it. We've been... Nobody gets on it Nobody at all, gets period. On it. And they just get up under it. And we've been... Piece just, by piece, kind of trying to save it. We, we didn't want to actually get it out, but... I think we're gonna have I, to. I think we're gonna have to get it out. I think I think it's gonna have to get out. Come here, baby. Come here. Yeah, I see you. Maybe they can lay under the picnic table. Stop peeking around. What's up, Sissy? Look at how long his legs are getting. They are. You gonna be peeking see mama before too long. All legs. Yes, he was. Oh goodness, I don't know what the alarm system is doing. Oh, he's so sweet. They all are so sweet. Aren't they, though? Hey. Yeah. Oh, we had a ton of name suggestions. Oh, I know. Oh, we had a ton of name suggestions. Um, what was that one that stuck out to me? I can't remember. It was for her. Um, I did like Jack and Jill for some reason. That really... I don't but know But we're still undecided as to what... You yeah. Know, if we're gonna keep them, we've got some good homes available. We do. It's just not knowing what to do. Of course, you get attached to every animal on right. the farm. Right. If we if we kept any of the boys, we would have to, you know. They'd have to be weathered. They'd have to be weathered. Look at him. If we kept the little girl, she could uh she could breed with top and we could have many nubians yeah. so that's out there too hey bo p what's up bo what you doing this morning oh bo <laughs> <laughs> he just that kinda, took some talent to just, be able to do and that and how quick he did it he's done that a time or two i believe all right babies i'm gonna go fill up the waters i don't want to though you don't want to leave them, do you, Tip? You get to sit in here with them all day. Uncle Tip. Yeah. Oh, Uncle Tip. Look how much shorter she is than him. I know it. He's, and he's and like the length, too. Look yeah. at the length difference. Yeah. She's just a tiny girl. Yeah. They're about to fall asleep standing they up. They are. They get that little bit of milk in. Yeah. All right, well, Mama went to go eat some more, so. Well, guess what? What's that? Peaches cantaloupe's gone. <laughs> Not a single I don't think smidgen. there's... Is there even seeds left? There's peach? nothing, nothing left. Nothing left. <laughs> nothing left. Oh, Peach. You give animal crackers. I'm going to give animal crackers. Peach. All 
All right, Capri. Come on, Mildred, hurry. Mildred just, she is. She's kind of slow. She, well, she just, she doesn't battle for it like the rest of them does, you know? <laughs> rest of them are just. Get out of my way. Yeah, they're just ruthless when it comes to animal crackers. But Mildred, she's just as gentle as they can be. Here you go, Bo. I mean, uh, Bootsy. Hurry, Bootsy, you gotta be fast. Gotta be fast, Bootsy. I need to make sure Bo gets one. Come on, Bo. Oh, it's right there. There you go. You got it. She got it. All right, y'all. Everybody got an animal cracker. Peaches is fixing to get her. Peaches got a mini breakfast. A mini breakfast. Peaches had fruit and a little bit of extra. Yeah. Yeah. Mildred. Oh, you want another one? All right. One more for Mildred. She's a little bit bigger than everybody else, so hurry, Mildred. You gotta hurry. You gotta hurry. Mildred, you're just not fast enough. She got something because she's chewing. She got a little bit. Now she got a good one that time. Here you go, Boots. All right. And I said, well, I think so. Why? She said, because it's much redder than it's ever been. Redneck has the got the... she's right. Even, <laughs> even his throat. Mildred. He's even got his a capital, throat. Capital everything. R-E-D neck. He does. I mean, he is just red, red. She said she needed that. Yeah, she did need that, didn't she? There you go. There you go. Captain. Let it happen, Captain. A lot of people have been saying that I'm not giving Moody a fair race over here when we race in the mornings. Well, see, last time I thought I gave him a head start now. I thought I gave him a head start, but y'all still say I'm cheating. You hear that, Moody? People say I'm cheating when it comes to us racing. So we're going to do it again, sir. We're going to do it again, all right? We'll see how this goes. Cheating. I think I'm cheating. All right, let me go get your bow. You stay down there. I don't want you. I don't want you to wear yourself out. Now, I want this to be a fair, even race. Go on, stay down there. Don't wear your legs out. Cause I'm just getting your bow. I'm just getting your bowl, buddy. Yeah. We're gonna get it filled up. And then we're gonna do this thing. You got me? You gonna be ready for this, ain't you? Huh? You gonna be ready for this? You ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the camera down so everybody can see this race now. All right. You ready? Here we go. Here we go. You need, you need to turn around. Come on, I want you facing this way. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Let's go. I even let up. I even let up at the end there. I did. Y'all going boy, boys. I let up at the end there and still whipped him. And I think he had a head start on me now. I really do. I think he had a head start on me. Boys. Goodness gracious. I think I'd rather race Moody every day than feed them hooligans. <laughs> You keep, you keep uh, working out, Moody. Keep working out and practicing. You might get me one day.
Last pod gone. Last pod gone. Look at it. Zero pods now. It looks a little different. Don't, don't it, it look different? It looks way bigger now, don't it? It does. Zero pods. I didn't think this day would come. I know it. Ain't that the truth? We just don't want to show nobody the garage. No. <laughs> All right, there's the goose gang. The new parents, step parents, I reckon. I see, I don't see cantaloupe. I wonder if cantaloupe is over there with his with his wife, sour cream with the eggs. Ain't that something? That just amazes me. Y'all see my girl Emma Jean waiting on me. I'm coming, baby. There you go. Whoa, goodness. That's Ono. Ono making all that racket. What's up, Tina? Oh, Tina Turner there. I see Dolly and Cotton headed this way. Tommy, look at the baby running. <laughs> oh my gracious, there's Astrid. There's Miss Lewis, Goat. Mr. Corny. Lydia, Ruby. Rhonda's sitting on eggs, by the way. She's real broody. We get the eggs out. She don't get up. She just sits, still sits there. So hopefully she'll break her brood soon. There's one of the Sylvies right there. Come on, y'all. Come on, Wilhelmina. Galaxy. Well, I'm sure the Goose Gang wants some. Let me go take them some. They'll make them over here and run all these chickens off. Everybody needs, needs a little scratch in the morning. A little treat. There you guys go. That way they won't mess with the chickens. They're bigger than a chicken, so they have authority. Here comes another goose. I don't know which one that is. No pickles. Right there. Over here, hissing at Thomas. And the other ones, I just don't know the names of. Mary Carl named them and. I get confused. Y'all always ask me, how do you know all them names? I don't, y'all. The chickens, the chickens I know the names of, but the alarm system, I don't know the names of all of them, to be honest with you. Thomas, you know that you know everybody's name over there? Yeah, me either. I ain't seen goat this morning. She must be sitting or laying an egg. Usually she's first thing out. Goat and uh, Imogene. There you go, Tommy. Well, if I'd have just turned around, I'd have seen Miss Goat over here. Goat, what are you doing over there being nosy? She must be picking bugs out of the grass is what it looks like to me. Get them, girl. Get them, girl. Show them no mercy. <laughs> All right, so I see Ozilla over here. I see Miss Lewis over here. That means no one's sitting on eggs. I wanna go see how many eggs Ozilla has. I caught her this morning. She's over here eating. I fed this morning. She came on up and got something to eat. I'm gonna run down to the barn. And uh, let's see how many she's got. What do y'all think? I was hoping I could beat her back to the nest. And it looks like I am. She's still behind me. I hear her honking. She does that really loud honk. It's very strange. And I'm not quite who she's communicating with when she does that. I really not. Alright, let's go see what she's got over here. Oh my gracious, y'all. Oh my gracious, y'all. It's way more than I thought. Way more. Y'all ready for this? Y'all look. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She is sitting on eight pea hen eggs. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, in years past, it's only been like four-ish. Not eight. So this is a uh, this is pretty exciting. Eight eggs, y'all. Good goobly goo.
I definitely was not expecting that at all. Never would I thought she had eight eggs under. Go, Ozella, go. Man, there's a 50% hatch rate. That would be four, right? Wow. All right, let me get away from here. I don't want her to see me over here. I don't want her to get worried that I'm messing with her eggs. So we're going to skedaddle. But yay, Ozella. Guess what? what? You're not going to believe this. What? Guess what? I just caught, I just caught Ozilla off the nest. So I ran down there. Uh-huh. All right, I said about three to four eggs. How many eggs did you think she was sitting on? Three. Three. And I think Mary Croft said three. Yeah, they we'll, usually we'll don't have, that. you know, that big of clutches. Right, right. Why, what, how many? Eight. Eight eggs? She is sitting on eight eggs. Oh my gosh. I just saw her up here. And I saw Miss Lewis up here, so I know she was off. Unless we got a third secret peacock we don't know about. Uh, I don't and so, think so. Eight I went eggs. down there. It's eight eggs. Oh my gracious. I Never in a million years would I have guessed eight. I counted them, you know, like four or five times to make sure. Because it's a bunch. It's, I know it's eight, unless I'm miscounting. It's nine, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Still, we got eight eggs. Even, I mean, eight is. Eight eggs. Wowzers. Yeah. That blows my mind. I never would have guessed that in a million years. Eight they usually eggs. have pretty small clutches. Yeah. You know, three, four would be, four would be a lot. Yes. Eight eggs. Eight. Oh my gracious. While I was talking to you, I can't help but, I know my camera don't zoom in, but the, the babies are wide open in that yeah, back pasture. Yeah, I was pasture. over there filling up the the poles. Oh my, I still can't believe eight eggs. I know, the eight eggs has, has got me thrown off too, but I, I so did the baby goats out there frolicking. Hey, Miss Lewis. What's going on, Miss Lewis? Did you know your mama is sitting on eight eggs and you probably gonna have some siblings coming soon? You look very excited. <laughs> Nothing like some brother and sisters, right? Fruit orchard's looking beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it looks good. Fixing the water, isn't it? When the, with the rain being like it has been here, I'm having to water, but thank goodness for my drip irrigation. But I'm just watching them. I really don't want them to get too stressed out with us not having any rain. The, uh, the mulch is gonna help a lot, but even more than that, I mentioned it before too. You know, a lot of people think that black uh, weed mat we put down, a weed fabric, creates too much heat but it actually doesn't it's not like you think it actually acts as a mulch and it will keep that ground moist and hold that moisture in uh, sounds crazy I know but it does got it going an example I can tell you is, is when me and Brooke did that rose arbor for the greenhouse we put weed fabric down and we were nailing in the the staples, the weed fabric staples, and they're metal. They're kind of like the thickness of a, um, kind of reminds me of a coat hanger, a good coat hanger, not them cheap ones. And so typically it's no problem. You can nail it down unless you hit a rock. Well, Brooke was steadily trying to do it and about on her fourth one or fifth one, she said, I'm hitting a rock every time you come try. And so I got it, show sure enough, I did it in the staple. It bends over when you hit a rock. And I was like, there's no way we're hitting a rock this many times. What was happening was, is it was going down about yay deep and it was hitting just where the ground had gotten so hard from the lack of rain. But over on the greenhouse side where we overlapped the weed mat coming off the rose arbor over towards the greenhouse, I already had that weed mat under the greenhouse, you know, to keep weeds out but it sticks out about a foot past the greenhouse, give or take, those staples will go right through, no issues because that weed fabric was holding in moisture. So it acts like a mulch. But I hear a, I got a leak, y'all, I hear it. I got a darn leak over here. I wasn't expecting that this morning. Oh my goodness, can we find? The whole thing is gone. I have to cut it off. I don't see the uh don't see the end. Alright. 
Let me shut it down. First time I had a leak. But we'll shut it down and then put us a new end on it there, a new dripper. All right, let's get you fixed up here. There it is right there. Come on now. Now, got it. Good boy. Now we should have it. All right, let's cut it on and try it again, y'all. There we go. Now we rolling. All right. We probably knocked it off when we were mulching and stuff, but we should be good. Now there it goes. See the little, just a little drill. See it right there? Ever so slowly. See it? And that's what we want. Kind of like barbecue, slow and low. Wanted to, wanted to show y'all the blackberries. They have just exploded. I had Tracy from Just Dig It Farms over here yesterday, and we were just hanging out, her and her husband, Jean, and I wanted her to come look at the blackberries and reassure me what I need to cut out because we're gonna cut all this back and just keep two primacanes and she told me, so that is what we're fixing to start. We're gonna pick up the stuff to do that with. I wish I really got most of it. Got my poles here, but I need, um, I got my wire, but I need some concrete for these main poles and a big T-post in the middle. And we're gonna get working on that pretty soon too. Then we talked about what should we finish this bed out with. And I think she's got us talked into blackberries just do the whole row of blackberries and you know what as much as me and Mary Carl love blackberries I can't argue with her so I think that's what we're gonna do and I think we're gonna finish this row out in blueberries so blueberries blackberries black and blue no black and blue <laughs> but I'll show you guys exactly how we're gonna train these blackberries up and I feel pretty good about it I just was making sure I'm not cutting the wrong canes out and I'll show you guys that how exactly how we're going to train our blackberries and how we're going to grow all of our blackberries on two canes per plant it's amazing it's just awesome scott has ozella told you she's sitting on eight eggs buddy eight eggs man can you believe that eight eggs looks like you don't want to talk about it Maybe Scott don't want eight children running around. I'm gonna tell y'all, if we had eight Scots over here during breeding season, y'all, you'd have to, you would have to wear headphones 24 seven. Those noise cancel ones, not the music ones. The ones that cancel noises. It would be unbearable, unbearable. Hey, Ozilla. What's up, girl? Congratulations on your eight eggs. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot believe you have eight eggs under you. Eight. Goodness gracious alive, girl. If you have eight youngins, you gonna better take care of all them? I told Scott. Yeah, he seems pretty excited. So, anyways, I'm gonna let you go. You have a beautiful, beautiful, and wonderful day sitting on your babies. Or soon to be babies, I should say. They're not babies yet. The road ahead, it twists and turns, and the sun beats down and it burns. But I keep, keep on pushing through. And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through Cause I get up And I may fall right back down 
But you love lifts me back to solid ground Yeah, I get up through. 